again, we're going to talk about the sentence. How do you write your sentence? I know that you're going to tell me enough. We are, we are really excellent and we know how to write our sentence. Miss, we start our sentence in a capital letter. Please don't say again. And then what about the rest of the sentence? Junior one, we copy the rest of the sentence in small letters. And what about the end of the sentence? I put a full stop. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you a very small thing. I want you to write for me the beginning of the sentence only, not all of the sentence. The beginning only. Correctly. How do you begin your sentence, Junior One? Yes, excellent. In a capital letter. Okay, let's see together. Number one. Between brackets, you have my dog. The rubric wants me to write each beginning, the beginning of the sentence, like my dog, the beginning word correctly to make a sentence, okay? So this word, my dog, the, the one between the brackets, you're going to copy it here, but correctly to write the beginning in a capital letter. Okay, let's read it. My dog runs in its sleep. We are going to copy my dog on the dash, but correctly. How do I start my sentence? Capital letter. What is the first letter? M. Write it capital M. It should be big. And then the rest of the letters next to it. My dog. Just copy. My dog runs in its sleep. It makes sense some words together that you can understand it means it's a sentence. You wrote your capital letter, the book put for you the full stop. Here is a very nice and lovely sentence. Number two. Between brackets, it must be dreaming. I want you to write it must on this dash. How are you going to write it? Can you write it or copy it as it is? Starting with a small letter? Of course not! We know that we start our sentence in a capital letter. Are you going to say this every time? Yes, I want to make sure that you're going to copy it in a capital or to, uh, to correct the first letter into capital letter and the rest small. Here is the first letter. It. It. Mm, must. Be. Dream. My sentence started with a capital letter and ended in a full stop. Easy? Yes, of course. Okay, number three. Maybe it is chasing. Chasing means running after a cat. Maybe. Can I start my sentence with a small n? With a small letter? Of course not. We know. You're going to just change the first letter into the capital letter and copy the rest of the sentence as it is. A, Y, N, Y, B, E, B, E, E, T. Okay? Maybe, capital M, it is chasing a cat and the microstop is in the book. So this is a very nice sentence. Put some words together, making a nice meaning that you can understand. Next. Sometimes it even barks. Can I start my sentence with a small s? No, this one is wrong. I have to copy it. Capital S and then copy the S as a face. Some. It even works. Stop. The last one. I think it is funny. How do I start my sentence? Again and again and again. I have to start my sentence in a. It's a letter. Excellent. Here is the first letter. Is this 
one capital. No, I have to copy it capital. I. And then go to the rest of the sentence or the words and write them small letters. I think it is funny and look good for me the full stop. So, if you look at the sentence from the beginning at the end, it started with a capital letter, ended in a full stop, and the middle in the middle, all of the letters are small. This is how you can see a nice sentence written correctly. Okay? It is very easy. Now, your homework is the easiest thing ever. You have some words in this table. Okay, and the cat wants to uh, it, uh, the cat wants you to color each box that has a word starting with a capital letter. For example, the word the does it start with a capital letter? Yes. For uh, for does it start with a capital letter? Yes, capital F. That, does it start with capital letter? Yes, starts with capital T. Color these three boxes. What about this word? With small w. Does it start with a capital letter? No. So I am not going to color this box. Just color these, uh, the words that start in capital letters. And that's it. This is your homework. Okay? Thank you, Junior One.